Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells and welcome to my channel. This is video number 90 and we are on day 28 of the 30 day YouTube challenge. Today we're going to be talking about Doc Martens shoes. And if you've not read my disclaimer, take a minute and read that. Basically I'm just suggesting things that sell well on eBay. Please do your own research and make sure the profit works for your business. Okay, Doc Martens, what are they? They are shoes that are made in the UK. A few notes from their website. Doc Martens appeal to people who have their own individual style, but share a united spirit, authentic characters who stand for something, people who possess a proud sense of self-expression, people who are different. Um, these were originally made as a work boot and even showed, uh, excuse me, sold as a gardening shoe at one stage. So the site goes through the history of the production of these shoes and how the styles have evolved over the years and they have been around since 1901. So this is a very established brand that has a big following. And again, they are out of the UK. Uh, one note I wanted to make down here, um, initially worn by postmen and factory workers. Doc Martin's first few years of existence was very much that of a two pound workwear boot, obviously in the great British pounds there, selling sold solid quantities to Britain's working classes. Then something incredible started to happen. Without any warning or intent, Doc Martin's were suddenly picked up by early multicultural SKA loving skinheads who proudly championed British working class style. Shortly after, Pete Townsend of The Who became the first high profile individual to wear them as a symbol of his own working class pride and rebellious attitude. In so doing, both first generation skinheads and Townsend altered the course of the brand's history, changing this functional workwear boot into a subcultural essential. So all kinds of people wear these. You'll see them on hipsters, grunge, earth-loving people. Um, they go with everything and once you know to look for them you will start seeing them in different uh, style combinations. Here's the most important thing to look for is uh, the logo on the bottom and it is in a cross shape the logo isn't always visible on the outside, especially if it's an older pair. So this is another one of those flip the shoe over and check it out kind of thing because um, the logo's on the bottom. These are also identifiable because they have a thick sort of gum rubbery sole because they were initially made as a work shoe. So uh, that's one way you can identify them. Okay, so let's go over to eBay and see what's happening there. Uh, I'm going to start with active listings and make sure I've chosen used. Yep. And so we've got 2,700 active listings. Now this is, you know, it's not a ton. It's not a whole lot, but it's enough to show that this style, this brand has a following. And I do ship them internationally. Uh, one note on these, make sure you weigh them because they are heavier than most shoes because they were intended to be a work shoe. Um, if you're planning to try and ship them in a padded flat rate envelope, make sure they fit before you list them because they may not fit. Some of them are pretty thick and bulky and um, they're different than other shoes in that respect. So make sure you, you know, do your shipping homework before or as you're listing them to make sure that you're not um, undercharging for the shipping and uh, you know that's going to eat into your profit. So anyway we've got 2700 active listings in used condition. If we go to the sold listings we've got 4800 almost 5000 in used condition that's sold. Now that is a huge statistic to be aware of. When an item, a brand name, has twice as many sold as it does listed, that means there's a huge demand for it. So this is an item that you can price high and get your price for because the sell-through rate is phenomenal. 
Uh, one style that I find a lot is the women's Mary Jane style. And let me see if I like this one here with the the double buckle. I see this one a lot. And these are actually I think they're sized in whoops. They're sized in um, UK sizing. So you can go to size conversion charts on Zappos. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, if you want to include the US size, but most of these will have the UK size inside of them. So make sure you're advertising it as the right size because uh, that could be confusing for your buyer. Um, if you don't specify, they're going to email you and ask, or they're going to move on to the next seller who already has that in their title. So make sure you understand the sizing. See how this one says uh, Mary Jane's 5 UK 7 US. And if you want to go to um, Zappos International Sizing, they have a size conversion chart where you can do those conversions so that both sizes are in your listing because obviously us Americans don't know this unless we wear European made shoes so um, UK sizing is different than Euro sizing it's it's on its own so that's a very important thing to research if you're selling shoes that are not in American sizes okay so back to Doc Martens um, so yeah this is one of those where you just want to look flip over the shoe and look at it um, you can see like in this pair the very identifiable sole it's got that thick gum looking sole here very rubbery and textured on the bottom so usually you can identify them right off without even having to flip them over um, that those could be Doc Martens and there's lots of copies too so um, but look, this pair here sold for $71, and they're used. And I'm sure I'll get a lot of comments about this. I mean, these aren't like the most feminine and attractive looking shoes. There's <laughs> they're kind of clunky, and um, you know, th they are very heavy shoes. So this isn't something you might just flock to in the shoe section as being a beautiful shoe. Um, they're more utilitarian because they are a work shoe. So put that one on your list. Now one thing I wanted to mention was um, a lot of times I'm showing you st statistics on active listings versus sold and I like to show you these niche items that don't have thousands and thousands of active listings because you're not going to have as much competition. So in this example we're just looking at the brand name Ralph Lauren and if we go to the uh, used items pre-owned you see 233,000 items on eBay in used condition with the keyword Ralph Lauren in the title. That's tremendous competition. If you can find things like Doc Martens that only have 2,500 active listings, you have a much better chance of selling your item. Um, if we go look at all the sold items that have Ralph Lauren, um, it's about the same amount, 231,000. Um, so there is a good sell through rate, but again, your competition is huge. Um, if we look at completed, including sold, we've got 493 sold. So 493 minus 231, the difference there, that's the number that didn't sell. So over 200,000 listings that didn't sell. And so I'm not saying don't sell Ralph Lauren. I'm saying when you're learning to be a picker, you want to focus on things that are scarce. Focus on things that there aren't that much of on eBay because guess what? When you are the only person who has the um, pink Doc Martens in the size they need, you're going to sell yours at the price you set. Um, Ralph Lauren, not so much. There's thousands of other sellers that will take a lower price. But 
when you're the only seller or one of the only sellers to have an item in the right size, and this is why I love shoes, because um, shoes go from in women's size 4 up to 12, and then you've got narrow and wide. So a huge variety of sizing combinations, and if you've got the one that somebody needs in a certain style, they're going to buy yours. So just keep that in mind when you're uh, fine-tuning your business is, um, you know, how many are active listings and how many have sold? And is it a niche item? And can you find it repeatedly? Um, do I find Doc Martens every single time I go shopping? Of course not. But I may find five pairs a year. And if I'm doing this with a bunch of different brands that have enough of a following to sell on eBay, um, that's that's maximizing your effort. You know, you can be a listing robot and list things all day long and you can sell things or you can focus on high profit scarce items and your time will be more valuable because you're making more money per hour because you're listing higher dollar items. So anyway, I kind of got off the point here, but basically um, Doc Martens, check them out. Look them up on eBay. Look for them in the thrift store. And thanks for watching. Have a great day on eBay. Bye.